So, today we're going to be scrapping a uh, old processor box. Um, this is an integrated unit with a fan on the back, um, as you can see. Uh, but then we're going to take it apart and um, find out what's inside. Um, ideally, it'll be um, lots of pins coated in gold and hopefully a, uh, an old processor um, as they have a significant amount of um, gold components. So what we're going to do, we're going to take off the uh, screws on the back of the box here um, that will let us inside the, uh, to see the circuit board and also um, the fan and heat sink as the heat sink is entirely aluminium. So as you can see we've now taken the casing off. Um, this is just a large heat sink, pure aluminium, once we've taken the fan off um, and the processor. The processor is in the middle and as you can see a huge amount of gold on the edge of here. Uh, it's also double sided. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to snip off the uh, gold contacts uh, using tin snips. So we'll just snip those off entirely. Um, and then using a bit of heat we'll then um, actually melt the uh, solder that holds on the processor and we'll uh, see what's on the other side. So what we're doing now, uh, after snipping off the um, gold contacts uh, from the edge of the, um, the board, we're going to take off the fan from the aluminium heatsink. This will leave us with a um, just a fan component um, and also a pure aluminium heatsink. The aluminium on this particular heatsink is uh, covered in black paint um, and we'll remove that later along with a number of other heatsinks um, as it's inefficient to do things um, individually. Um, so we'll wait till you have a large uh, number of the same items and process them all at once um, and that will improve efficiency. Um, and also you'll be able to actually see something coming out the other side um, in terms of meaningful volume. So that's the fan removed, it's just a pure aluminium heatsink and a uh, pretty standard uh, computer fan here.